Hey guys, it's uh, Cricker Senior back again for another Informer Review video. Uh, this one deals uh, strictly with firearms uh, today because what I'm going to be discussing is how to uh, disassemble your bolt assembly for your AK-47 after you get done uh, shooting at the range or planking and stuff like that after your cabin or whatnot. Uh, how you take these things apart is uh, pretty simple. Unfortunately, whenever I first got my uh, Wasser 10 back in 2000, um, I think 2003, I think it was for like uh, 300 and some bucks. Uh, the owner's mail didn't specify how to uh, disassemble the firearm in a adequate manner, so they didn't have YouTube and stuff like that back then. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't know how to do any of that basic stuff. I had to talk and ask some people and stuff like that and gunsmiths. So uh, now I can actually show you how to take these things apart properly after, um, you know, <laughs> after like 15, 10, 15 years out there and stuff like that because uh, unfortunately even uh, some of the new manufacturers don't really show you how to uh, take them apart. They show you how to do a, a simple field strip out there for that and, and whatnot. So I'll show you how to take these things apart exactly and stuff like that. So first thing you're going to need to uh, take these things apart is uh, one of your Teradyne tools. This is a uh, a punch out of your AK-47 uh, clean kit uh, assembly. They normally have a butt pad and stuff like that. Well, you're going to need this right here for this video. So take that thing out if you have one. So the first thing you want to do when you have your uh, AK bolt is to uh, look at, just like I'm looking at right now, I'm, I'm looking at right now for demonstration purposes only. So what you want to do is look directly on the top of your bolt. You have this big uh, triangular shaped locking lug. Well that locking lug has a little hole with a pin going through it. That's your retain pin for your firing pin. You want to take that thing out first. So what you want to do to take that out is to flip the bolt over completely upside down like so and you have a hole on the opposite side of the bolt right here as well too. So what you want to do is take your pin you want to stick it down in that hole and hold the firing pin Right, for this for, for this video, I'll hold it just, uh, just like this on an angle. So you want to have your firing pin all the way in the fire position with your finger in the back. You're holding it in, in that position because um, the reason why is because that retaining pin, uh, if it's uh, situated back right here, it might cause some damage and it might start scalloping up the, the firing pin itself. So for this video, uh, keep your firing pin in the fire position. So what you want to do is take your pin in one hand, I'm left hand, so that's what I'm doing this way. You want to insert it into the bottom of the bolt assembly to pop out your retaining pin on the top of the bolt, on the top of the locking lug. Put that in there like so. Put your finger over here on the top of it. You want to push it in until it comes out partially as it is. See how this thing's sticking up about, probably about a quarter of an inch right here. That's your retaining pin. In order to pull it out all the way, simply keep the bolt down like so, with the firing pin in fire position, and you pull the pin out. It should pop out relatively uh, easy if uh, you've been taking it uh, out you know, quite quite often for cleaning purposes. So now your firing pin is able to fall out of the firing pin channel. So there you go, you set that aside. Keep the retaining pin and the firing pin right next to each other. So now you want to take out your extractor. Uh, your extractor on here, uh, it is situated right down here below where the firing pin was taken out, the actual retaining pin. Your firing pin, or I should say your retaining pin for the extractor, situated to the left side and low of the uh, retaining pin for the firing pin. So there you go. So it's right down here. So in order to take this thing out, you have to uh, basically flip the bolt over on an angle because uh, this retaining pin it's uh, situated on an angle like this. It's actually going through the bolt body like so on an angle as opposed to being vertical right here like your retaining pin is for your firing pin. So what you want to do to take the extractor out is to, I'm left hand so I'm going to be doing it this way. You want to push down on the extractor to uh, push tension on the spring and you want to push in on the actual uh, pin right here to pop it out. Your pin is located right here on this specific side on the right hand side of the bolt right here guys so you have a hole right here you want to push in on that pin right there so what you want to do take your retain or take your extractor and put your finger on top of like so you want to push in on that pin right there you know wiggle it in and out just keep applied pressure right there and your extractor pin will uh, come out here like so so now 
you see the pin it's sticking out here like so this pin has a uh, half moon um, shaped style to it and what you want to do is you want to have the half moon portion facing the front of the bolt face where that's that's imperative because uh, the back flex side is where the actual firing pin retaining pin butts up against that so so the circular curved half uh, half moon shape has to be facing the front of the firing pin when you when you reassemble it so I'll take it out of here all the way push it all the way down inside there for the actual uh, pin until it pops out in your hands so there we go and keep your hand like it is so see I have the firing pin retain or the um, extractor retain pin sorry about that guys there you go and that's what it looks like you'll notice it has a cut angle on an angle like that and you'll see directly on here it has a like I said before has a half moon crescent moon shape or you want to call it right here for that as well too you set that aside then for that and now you'll see your extractor see how it's popped up on an angle right there the extractor is popped up because it's spring so now you can take the extractor out and put your hand so what you want to do is take your hand out and you put it out just like so so now you have a stripped bolt all ready to go for cleaning uh, personally I just um uh, I get some uh, brake cleaner and stuff like that and just, uh, just uh, brush it down with a uh, plastic brush or pla uh, plastic brush it has um, plastic bristles on it to be more precisely clean up and stuff like that and I uh, get some um, uh, brake cleaner and spray it down and uh, just blow it out with some air in your air compressor and whatnot then uh, the last thing I do recommend is getting some q-tips and putting it down inside the firing pin channel down here and make sure that thing is completely squeaky clean spotless because you can get a lot of um, uh, carbon build up and um, possibly oil um, contamination down there and since you have, uh, you have a free flowing firing pin if you get any bit of oil or debris down inside it can possibly impede the firing pin from allowing it to move back and forth down inside the chamber or down inside the actual uh, stem of the bolt itself so put that down by itself and now you have your extractor here the extractor has two pieces you have your extractor itself right here this is what it looks like in the front and this is what it looks like on the back. You'll notice on the back you have this horseshoe shaped or a U-shaped uh, piece right here. That's where your front or your um, your uh, um, spring fits up inside right here. That spring right here fits up inside the horseshoe shape right there for that. So now you can you you uh, successfully fully disassemble your bolt and you clean all those parts up with some brake cleaner and whatnot and just blow them off with some air. And once you get done doing that, make sure they're completely thoroughly dry and you're ready to go put it back together. So in order to reassemble the bolt, take the bolt in your one hand like so and get your extractor here with the spring. And you get your spring and you put it up inside that channel as I mentioned before where it's all U-shaped right here. So it's just like that. So now what you want to do is to align the extractor back down into the hole as you previously took it out. So see, you have your extractor, you have to align it so it, it, it um, basically uh, generates a circle because whenever your, um, your, um, your, your uh, shell casing is uh, uh, getting picked up on the back right here, it has to have a complete circle. You cannot have a cockeyed because it will not uh, grab on the shell properly and it will not allow the uh, retaining pin for the extractor to fit down properly for, for that. So. You have to line it up perfectly like so and you push it down and you can wiggle it to the teeny bit down inside it so you hold it like this you apply pressure to it and you get your uh, extractor retaining pin and you stick that down into the hole right here on the left hand side of the bolt body so you put that down inside there and you also keep the half moon portion facing the front of the bolt assembly and you push it down into the actual hole while you're while you're uh, pressing down on the extractor itself too. So you have to do two things: you have to push down on the extractor itself at the same time while you're pushing in on the extractor retaining pin over here while keeping it straight with the crescent half moon portion facing the front of the bolt. If you push down on there just like so, and it'll line up flush. As long as you get it flush with the surface on, you should be perfectly fine. So that's what it looks like right there once you get it back in. And that's what your extractor looks like in the front as well too. So now you put your firing pin back in here as well too guys. So in order for your, or you put your firing pin back in here, uh, 
you have to look at your firing pin itself right here. You have two pieces. You have, you have the one flat side right here that has a little uh, notch, like a little square notch taken out right here in the front of the firing pin tapered piece. It looks like a little uh, corner, right, like a little corner for a, um, a cube. And you have your other flat side over here that has a little scalloped piece. Well, you want to uh, align your retaining pin with the flat piece that has a little uh, little notch taken out right over here. This piece right here has to be against the retaining pin for the firing pin. So in order to install that properly, what I do over here is I hold the bolt like so, and you have the top locking lug right here facing like so, and you put the top flat piece right here that has the little L-shaped notch taken out, and you line that up just the top, just like so, like there. So you put that back in there. So now it's lined up, and the firing pin is fully seated into the stem right here as well too. So what you do, take your retaining pin for the firing pin, and you rotate around like so, and you put your retaining pin directly into there, and you push it down in there so it's fully seated. Make sure the firing pin is fully into the stem right here in the fire position. So put your finger in the back like so, while you're pushing in on the retaining pin itself. So once you get it about halfway, it might have a little bit of pressure right there for that. So you might have to get one of your tools that push it in because sometimes these pins can be quite tight. So mine right here, it's not that bad. So I'm going to basically push it with my thumb. So you push it in until it's completely flush again with the top of the locking lug here as well too. So you want to have it completely flush right. You don't want it sticking up, buggered up because it can get sheared off while it's rotating inside the bolt carrier center right there for that. So now you successfully reinstalled all the components back into your bolt body right here for it. So you want to give it a shake. You hear that rattling? That's your free floating firing pin there, so everything's good to go. That's basically the last test you want to perform before you stick the uh, bolt back into your gun for another range session. So after you do that, guys, it's uh, easy, easy as eating pancakes either. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot about what I just discussed right here, feel free to uh, leave me a message here at the bottom of the page, and I'll try to answer your questions as uh, quick as possible, probably within 24 or 48 hours after you might post them. So I'll see you guys, and have a nice day.